What if I told you that there was a way to stop reaching under the table? Join me on the journey as we search for a way to break free and put control within our reach. Good morning. Going to need a lot of flux because we have a ton of soldering to do. Let's get to work. First up, we're going to prepare a couple of flat cable connectors. Pre-tinning will make the work easier. Wrap the connector with capped on tape so it doesn't burn while we work. Then cover the pin next to where we'll solder to avoid making a short. Flux every pin and wire, it'll make a big difference. Then let's start. The connector is 32 pin with one millimeter pitch. Just take your time and make strong connections. Here's a finished connector, already pinned. I used 33 pins, but removed one to act as a key. Let's do the other side. These headers are cut to 11 pin strips, and one pin is removed to match the opposite side. This is much easier than the connectors. Now it's a good idea to test each pin for shorts. And also check we wired in the correct order. Let's turn it on. This cover will keep the wires from bending and breaking the connections. Tape works better than the cable ties. I wired and glued together a custom cable using the same PCB headers. One pin is glued as a key. The headers are glued to a printed frame. Before gluing, I put a second frame on. Side pieces snap into the bottom frame. Then the top pieces slide into the top frame. And the two halves snap together. Later I'll glue the connector closed. Shrink wrap keeps everything together nicely.
test again to make sure everything works. Time to clean up. cover is pressure fitted. I've already glued a connector into the bottom part. Also, I bought a short piece of flat cable. Just fold everything gently and close the cover. Here you should put a small drop of glue to keep it closed. I'll try to add a tab before uploading the files. The feet just snap into place. M4 T-slot nuts are ready. We snap the mounting bracket parts together. And on the bottom insert a tension ring. A larger diameter will make firmer rotation. The mounting arm gets a washer, then a spring washer, and a screw. A nut is already inside. Here is the finished rotating and tilting mount bracket. If you need help or have questions, just leave a comment. Links for everything are in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.